Okay, so this is the Asus A541N notebook with an Intel CPU and 4 gigs of RAM. I'm about to unbox it and then install Windows on it. So, as you can see, very nice packaging. I'm sure inside is the notebook, the power adapter, the resource DVD, and the manual. Nice packaging. This is the mighty power adapter from Asus. We have some user manuals in Romanian, the first one, the resource DVD, and another user manual. This one is in English. So let's dig in. Very shiny laptop. This is the optical drive. Here we have two USB ports, HDMI, VGA adapter, VGA port, sorry. Okay, and this is the beauty. You can see that it uses a Intel 2 core N3350 up to 2.4 gigahertz, and it has uh, 4 gigabytes of RAM and 500 gigabytes of uh, storage. It comes with endless OS, which I'm gonna remove because it sucks. <laughs> so let's put it up. Oops, no battery. Okay, first, you have to insert your Windows 10 DVD. It has to be bootable. Just insert it. Then power up your device. Press F2 many times until you enter BIOS. Now, using your uh, mouse, just set as the first US, uh, bootable device, your DVD ROM. Now save your settings by pressing F10 or clicking save and exit. Select yes. And if your DVD is bootable, you'll see press any key to boot from DVD. And that's what you have to do. You have to press any key. <laughs> Takes a while until... He, until uh, you reach the DVD, but now you can see press any key to boot from CD or DVD, and you press absolutely any key. Windows will start booting from the DVD. It will take a while. I tried installing it from a USB drive, but it was a USB 3.0, and this guy I didn't see it. I don't know why. So. I'm using a DVD drive, DVD, I'm using a DVD with Windows 10, it should be easy. Still waiting. This is a nice device. Not too expensive, not too cheap, just right. Okay, so now window is booting up. You have to choose your language, I guess. Let's see. Yes, language. You just have to click next. So go ahead and click next. Click install now.
I don't have a product key at the moment, so I will click I don't have a product key. Pick x64, so it will see all your 4 gigabytes of RAM. Click next. Accept the terms. Tick the box and then click next. Custom. Now, you have to delete all the partitions, so delete, you, s you select them and then you click delete and yes and so on. Delete, OK, delete, OK. I would recommend you creating two partitions. Just click on new and I usually go for 176 gigabytes. Apply, OK. Then use the remaining space to create another partition. Format this one because you Windows will not see it. Format the first one as well and then hit next. And all we have to do now is wait. It will reboot once, maybe twice. And then it will ask for uh, some input. Just be patient, grab a cup of coffee and wait. We are about to see the end of the installation. It says getting ready. It should be ready soon. Alright, uh, just select your country and click yes, disable Cortana because it's annoying, click yes, skip adding another keyboard, connect to, to your wireless network. Whoops, I think I typed the wrong password. Let me try again. 
Yeah, what's wrong with this? So let's try again. Bam, it worked. I think. Yes, it did. Okay, hit next. Come on, Windows. Uh, I would choose personal use and hit next. Offline account, who the fuck wants Windows account? Maybe later. Who's going to use this PC? Somebody would. Good. Hit next before you type, but first type in your username. Hit next again if you don't want any, any password. Who the fuck wants to use Cortana? Click now. Obviously. Okay, I would untick all these boxes because everything is useless just hit next and I think this is all all you have to do next is uh, wait for Windows to install all your drivers activate your Windows legally or not I don't care um, and you're good to go good luck I guess please like and subscribe Cheers.